In March of this year, uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we had several hundred uh, people who had registered for assistance and not yet been uh, assessed for their damage. So recovery administrator and directed us to find a way to continue to provide services to those impacted by disasters without putting survivors or FEMA staff at risk. These the damage assessments involve people calling the survivors and walking through them with them the damage that they uh, suffered to their home. Through the years of experience that we've had working disasters, we've developed a process by which we can walk through the damage with the survivor and as much as possible mirror us being in the home uh, looking at the damage. Prior to the pandemic, uh, FEMA relied on uh, our damage assessors to go to the homes to verify the damage that occurred. Now, we obviously have to do all of this remotely. So we call the applicant, we walk through these critical elements to their home, to their personal property, to determine the level of damage. We are also doing some exterior validation to ensure that the damage to the best extent possible is accurate. So in many cases, although we don't go in the home, we'll call the survivor, we'll do the remote assessment, will get their permission to go and also take pictures of their home from the exterior. The registrations that need to have inspections are automatically moved to an assignment queue within FEMA. At that time, the people that have indicated that they have the, the most amount of damage will be assigned a remote inspection and be contacted within three to five days and will walk through the process. People with lesser damage We'll still get a remote inspection, but sometimes that uh, may take five to seven days or as many as 14 days if we have a uh, catastrophic event. During the pandemic, we have found that since we've implemented this process, we're contacting applicants much quicker and getting assistance to them much quicker.